Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 545. Anatomy of the Lung and Lung Relations. How many lobes does the right lung have? The right lung has three lobes. How many lobes does the left lung have? The left lung has two lobes, but it also has a lingula, and this lingula is the homologue of the right middle lobe. The reason the left lung does not have a right middle lobe is because this space is occupied by the heart. One funny note to help you remember the lingula is that the word lingula is derived from Latin and is derived from the word that means little tongue. So lingula can be thought of as being the tongue of the lung. What part of the lung does foreign bodies commonly lodge in and why? Foreign bodies commonly lodge in the right lung, the reason being the right main stem of the bronchus is wider and more vertical. That means just because of gravity, the foreign body will go straight down into the wider and straighter right bronchus. Describe what would happen if you aspirate a peanut while upright. If you aspirate a peanut while upright, because of the right bronchus is wider and straighter, the peanut will go to the lower portion of the right inferior lobe. What would happen if you aspirate a peanut while supine? If you aspirate a peanut while supine, the peanut would still go into the right inferior lobe because of the wider and straighter right bronchus, but because you're supine, the peanut will go into the superior portion of the right inferior lobe. Briefly, describe the anatomy of the lung. We have already mentioned most of the things that we're going to talk about here, but we will briefly just go through the anatomy and how the lung looks from an anterior view and a posterior view. So if you look at the anterior view, the right lung again has the three lobes. It has the superior lobe, middle lobe, and the inferior lobe. Now the superior and the middle lobe is divided by that horizontal fissure, whereas the middle lobe and inferior lobe is divided by the oblique fissure. Next, you can also see the left lung, which has the superior and inferior lobe, as well as the lingula. A couple of things you may also want to notice here is how the lung is situated. Now, if you look at the left anterior view, you see that the superior lobe is situated more anteriorly. The reason you could tell this is because on the posterior view of it, you could barely see the superior lobe because you could only see the top part of it. But on the anterior view, you could see most of it. So that means that the superior lobe is situated more anteriorly and the inferior lobe is situated more posteriorly. And by using that same concept, if you look at the right lung on posterior view, you do not see the middle lobe at all. So this should basically indicate to you that when looking at the anterior view of the lung, the superior right lung is the most anterior, followed by the middle lobe, which is just behind it, and the most posterior is the inferior lobe. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.